Hey guys, Jeremy here. Now, just doing a little review here because just finally went and saw Jurassic World 2 and there seems to be this incredibly accepting act of stupidity and ignorance and terrible writing in films in the last few years. Uh, the incredible lack of logic in The Last Jedi has been incredibly forgiven. Uh, Black Panther has been acclaimed as being an Oscar-worthy film, despite the fact that it follows all the same story traits as every other Marvel film and The Lion King. Uh, the Fast franchise, how that's completely left the realms of rea reality entirely, and now it's just complete stupidity. But I feel that it seems that wealthy stupidity creates more wealthy stupidity, and as long as stupidity gives money to that stupidity, it's going to just keep on making money, and it's going to keep on getting made. And I feel that there's also ego in this. Colin Trevorrow went from making one really good indie film to making one of the highest grossing blockbusters of all time, and you can't say that that did not go to his head, because it did. The dude has gone insane with his own ego. For instance, look at The Book of Henry. The Book of Henry was his own personal movie, and supposedly it is so ridiculous and stupid that it's one of the reasons why he got kicked off of doing Star Wars Episode Nine, along with his insane ego. And he wrote this film, and you can tell. Now, admittedly, John uh, J.A. Bunya, I believe that's the name of the director, he does a decent job. This guy has actually proven himself to be good with horror and personal tragedies. For instance, he did The Impossible, then he also did The Orphanage, and he was able to blend those two into a Monster Calls, which I feel is the reason why he got this film. And I'll say for two good things about this film, there is a really, there's a lot of great horror elements in this, which is surprising. It's an unexpected idea to be in a Jurassic World movie, but considering how crazy and scary these dinosaurs actually are, the use of horror with lighting and scares, good scares admittedly, really good scares, uh, I appreciate that, as well as his homages to not just Jurassic Park. Mind you, there's one shot at the very end of the movie that's literally a complete rip-off of the ending of, with the T-Rex, which uh, I didn't exactly enjoy, but because it was like too on the nose. But there's elements that are from other Spielberg films, not just Jurassic Park, but the, uh, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, Close Encounters of the Third Kind even, which I thought was really cool, and I appreciated that. But aside from that, this movie's dumb. This movie is one of the dumbest movies I've seen in a long time. Now, obviously, Jurassic World had a lot of big following and made a bunch of money, and a lot of people appreciated it. I gave it a higher rating than I should have. I gave it a 5. really deserves a 4. It had some cool elements. It had some great retreads. It had a cool idea of what the park would have actually been, but admittedly, there was a lot of dumb writing in it. There was some rip-offs, literally, from Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic Park, and the characters weren't really that well fleshed out, especially those kids. And then there was the antagonist of the film, the big bad military guy, who wanted to weaponize and militarize the dinosaurs. And that was a comment that was brought up a lot by com in complaints of the film, saying that this was a really stupid aspect. So what did they do in the sequel? They double down on it. They triple down on this. And what happens is what is supposedly a rescue operation for the dinosaurs actually just basically turns into a retread of the second movie, The Lost World, and and they bring these dinosaurs to this mansion who apparently is owned by this guy called Lockwood, which him and Hammond were bros apparently. This is the guy that you never really found out was actually the dude one of the guys behind the dinosaurs being created. Apparently him and Hammond were bros, but this guy's literally just discount Hammond in terms of his character arc and his story and just how terribly shoved in he is. And the thing that you can already start complaining about is why the fact Bryce Dallas Howard isn't in jail. She should be. She be she should be suffering for the crimes against humanity she committed by being a completely terrible park manager. She should suffer. Like, it seems that no one got blamed. Yeah, there was $900 million given in, in compensation for the people who suffered. Are you fucking kidding me? What about the people who went to jail? Where's that happening? But apparently Bryce Dallas Howard is fine because she's trying to save the dinosaurs now. The one thing I will give, though, part of her team, there's this, this young black tech kid 
And supposedly a lot of people said he's, like, one of the worst parts of the movie. He's... I think they over... I think I just got so much hate for this character that he's not the worst. He's bad. He's a terrible character. He doesn't serve any purpose, really, than being a computer guy and serving ter terrible humor. But otherwise, he's not the worst. The worst is the writing, for sure. Because, as we later find out in this film, they go to the island, they get betrayed by Buffalo Bill, and then they come back to the island, and while there's this auction going on, which I honestly felt was a little bit low, because I'm pretty certain that at one point they sell a dinosaur for $10 million, and I was just sitting there thinking, I'm pretty sure it costs more to make that dinosaur. Hell, I bet you it costs more to bring that dinosaur back. I can't imagine the cost of that uh, that entire expedition. Not only was it illegal, it was done by mercenaries. So you have to go through all these back channels. So that definitely was not a cheap penny. So I thought that part was stupid for how low they were selling the dinosaurs for. And then they have to tie in this Indoraptor bullshit, which is, again, just a rip-off of Jurassic World. So they can't even come up with their own ideas. They have to rip off their own ideas from the ideas that were already stupid to begin with. So Lockwood is, he's got this granddaughter of his, which actually is just the clone of his daughter. That's apparently why he got in the whole game of bringing back the dinosaurs. And you're telling me that a human clone is nothing compared to the clone of a dinosaur? I can't believe this, but this is actually delving into Resident Evil movie stupid territory. I think when I was watching the fifth film, I realized that, wait a minute... Umbrella Corp can just make all these clones just like like that? And they're more focused on making a weaponized virus that they can't control? When you have the ability, via human cloning, to create perfect organs, to end the organ shor uh, donut shortage, to end the blood shortages, to fix all of these things that human clones could fix, we have the ability to test for viruses and cures and all these matter-of-fact speakings without breaking human or like humane conventions and you're more focused on making dinosaurs stupid writing just terrible and then throughout the film we get all these kind of interesting horror elements throughout with this raptor thing and it's got this like tick 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 with its with its one claw that it does which is kind of reminiscent of a horror villain but really, this movie just follows along in an incredibly mundane pace. It's slow, and when it gets to the house, it kind of really drags on, and all of these elements are just people being stupid and doing stupid things. Owen and Bryce Dallas Howard, like Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, they don't do anything for this movie. They're just dumb. They're just dumb wooden pegs along for the ride, and they don't serve any other purpose than to continue the stupidity of this film. And there's one point at the end of the film where all the bad guys are dead and all the dinosaurs are in this room and there's this poisonous gas that's being leaked into. And honestly, it kind of gave me a little bit of a shivers because it reminded me of the Holocaust a little bit with the gas chambers. And at first they're going to let the dinosaurs go, but then Bryce Dallas Howard's like, no, it's wrong. We shouldn't have brought these things back in the first place. We're going to let them die. And then... I swear to God, this is the only reason why they made this clone girl bullshit, is that they could justify the little girl coming up and opening up the door and saying the line, They're just like me. They should be free too. It's like, no, you've now just unleashed all these dinosaurs, many of them being carnivores, who are going to go and kill thousands of innocent people. And along with that, not only the dinosaurs that have been sold off on the black market, but apparently people got the DNA source coding for this as well. And now they have the ability to create their own dinosaurs. And Jeff Goldblum, who gave a commentary at the beginning and a commentary at the end of the film, is talking about just how terrible of an idea this is and how humans and dinosaurs are going to try and coexist and they're going to kill each other. And it's really, really unfortunate when a novel like the first film, which was so well grounded in science, with the idea of how dinosaurs existed in their environment. And then the second book, which talks about extinction level events, why the dinosaurs were destroyed, how they came about to be destroyed, and what we as human beings are going to lead to into their own destruction. And they talk about that a very little bit in this film, but honestly, admittedly, the ending has a quite 
intriguing as well as terrifying aspect, but because of how much stupidity it is drenched in, I know for a fact that the third one's fucked. Colin Trevorrow is going to write and, di and direct the third film. No. I don't know what you're thinking, Universal, but that's a dumb move because he's going to ruin it. I don't understand why you've given this dude this. It's kind of like Rian Johnson with his Star Wars trilogy. I love Rian Johnson, but I'll admit, I'm still kind of curious as to why Disney is still set on giving him that trilogy. Uh, maybe he'll do a better job of his own stuff than he will with the existing con canon, but again, same thing with Jurassic World 3. It's, it's heading towards disaster, people. It's going to be bad. It's not going to be a good movie. It's going to be maybe very entertaining to watch, but it's going to be stupid. And so that's why, in the end, I'm going to give Jurassic World 2 a 2 out of 7. It's one for the horror elements, as well as the homages to Spielberg's work. And that little girl, that little girl was actually a really good actress. Despite the, how stupid her stuff was in this film, she actually has a really cool, she gives a good performance, and I hope to see her in more things to come. But this is a terrible movie, guys. This is one of the worst movies of the year, in my opinion. So anyways, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this teardown. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.